CataractCoach.com, a really tough resident case. This is a good learning case. You will enjoy watching it a lot. Let's check it out. Patient has silicon oil in the eye. It's already been removed. You can see there is a pressurized infusion there in the pars plana. And the resident is trying to get a rexus done here. So it's a combined case of removing silicon oil, doing the cataract surgery, and then fixing a retinal detachment, and then replacing the silicon oil. So you can see resin tries again and again to get viscoelastic in the eye, but the AC keeps shallowing and they keep putting bubbles in the viscoelastic. So it's very difficult to finish this rexus. So what's going on here? So inadvertently, the resident is now operating, junior resident operating the retina tending, who doesn't routinely do a lot of cataract surgeries, operating together with a novice technician who's not that experienced. And the issue we're having here is first, there's no red reflex. It's very difficult red reflex given the retina problems and no tripan blue dye is available. That's one problem. Another problem is the infusion is still on. The pars plane infusion is still on and infusing this eye to 70 millimeters of mercury. That's creating a lot of posterior pressure. So the AC keeps shallowing, but more viscoelastic it shallows again. The rexus has to run out. So what you wanna do in a case like this is turn off or clamp that infusion line. You don't wanna keep infusing that posterior uh, part of the eye, put your segment vitreous cavity to such a high degree. This vitreous cavity is infused to 70 millimeters of mercury, which is really making this rex as dang near impossible. And so more and more and more viscoelastic. Now a little bit of a restart of the rexus and another area is going to be completed. It is not going to be simple. But finally, the rexus gets completed. The little maneuver fails to work here. Again, very hard to overcome that posterior pressure from that active infusion line. So you want to turn off that infusion. So the nucleus removal will be relatively straightforward here. And again, this is a junior resident who's just learning, but that's a really nice chop, by the way, for a junior resident. That, wow, that's a really nice technique. So the resident certainly has good hands, just as inexperienced. Resident's doing some really nice techniques here, given that this capsular rexus is radialized in one area. And the nucleus is chopped and removed pretty efficiently. And that looks fantastic. And now, Coming out of the eye again, finally, I think they figured out how to turn off the infusion cannula, which makes life easier. And now cleaning up the cortex here and getting a new lens. And this is a highly myopic patient who's had a recurrent retinal detachment. And again, this patient is being re opted again for the detachment. Silicone oil was already removed. Now the cataract's being done. Then once the eye well's in the eye, the retina will be reattached and more silicone will be placed inside the eye. So important to keep an intact posterior capsule. You want, with the silicon oil, you really want to try to separate that uh, vitreous cavity from the anterior segment of the eye. So a good cleanup here of the lens cortex. We sped the video up. The total of surgery is long. You're looking at more than an hour just for the, uh, the anterior segment stuff as well as for some of the vitreous stuff. So cleaning up here. Nice filling the bag with viscoelastic. And here comes the lens. Now let's watch. Yet another challenge is coming up, I can warn you. The resident provided some good details, so apparently this lens is going to go into a three-piece lens, highly myopic eye, seven diopter lens per record, and leading habit's already coming out of the injector. That's already a mistake. And what happened to our 7L rule? That's not a number seven, is it? No, it's the wrong direction. That's not a seven. It's upside. That haptic's the wrong orientation. So you got to turn it over. And the, the challenge here is, remember, that was a beautiful result. You turn it over nicely. Looks like a sulcus place lens, but that haptic is relatively sharp, and that three-piece haptic can poke through the posterior capsule. Fortunately, in this case, not too much of an issue. The IOL has been placed with good capsule support. Maybe it's uh, kind of sulcus-based. Avoid that much hydration. It's going to make the retina surgeon's view a little bit worse. And then definitely put a tano nylon suture in here. I like that, so that when it's time to now do the remainder of the vitrectomy and reattach the retina, you've got a nice, stable anterior chamber. Ooh, tough case for resident, but you know, you had a really nice recovery and nice save, and patient had a good outcome. Thanks for watching.